Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait. Is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then. At Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Rachni? The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. That is so. Billions of lives lost in that war, on both sides. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries, this is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Must produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They're thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? 
Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Kira the start. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Heat. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Online, how can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified, code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. Open fire!
do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she's a member of my crew. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions. Briefly. But the indoctrination is strong. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it! Please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. 
Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No. Our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost to silence. You should not sing of them in gray and violet. We would have still them ourselves. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. 
a tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Shepard. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. 
They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. They're not as bad as the cycles. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. 
So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. Your assignment to Elysium. It put you in the right place at the right time. Your character made you rise to the occasion. And that got you here, commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. The galaxy may need me here, but I need you next to me. God, you're awful. How do you come up with these things? Sorry, I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. I hope you can wait. There's some old saw about waiting and good things, isn't there? You are totally shameless. You need your own line of greeting cards. I'll warn you, though. I'm a hellcat off the battlefield, too. Sleep tight, Shepard.
Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard. But the project dates coincide with the attacks. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out.
back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! What all comes out? I'm listening. But I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I... I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on Akuz. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Toombs! He doesn't have any proof! I demand a fair trial! Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They treated me like a lab animal. I only escaped because somebody destroyed Cerberus, their big organization. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Toombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. We swore an oath when we put on this uniform. Would our unit want revenge or justice? Hadn't thought of it like that. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure, and hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm 
glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Th okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh. Thank you so very much. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here.
Still, it will all spill out, and then I won't be me anymore. I won't be me if it all spills out. I have to hold still.
message coming in. Patching it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I killed innocent people today, Admiral. The biotics set it up, but I pulled the trigger. The biotics had every advantage, including human shields. You lost a handful of civilians. Any other unit I sent in would have lost dozens of innocent lives. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth Fleet out.